this is me Hi with Pro Media Training again. We're back to take a look at some more features of Pro Tools. Today we'll take a look at how to actually create tracks within a Pro Tools session. And here we are in the Pro Tools edit window. As you can see this is a brand new session. We have no tracks. There's nothing happening in the session just yet. So we need to start by creating some tracks. We can go up to the track menu where you see the new track feature right here at the top. Now notice Next to it on the right hand side of the menu, it gives you the keyboard shortcut that will activate this feature. In this case, since we're on a Macintosh, it's the shift key, the command key, and the letter N. If you're on a PC, this would be the shift key, the control key, and the letter N. Now, in the new tracks dialog window, you have a couple of things to keep in mind. First of all, the number of tracks that you might want to create. This is all going to depend on you and your session. But in this case, let's say that we want to create four new audio tracks. We also need to keep in mind whether or not those tracks need to be mono or stereo. And we can hit create. So here are our four audio tracks. Now, in order to name these tracks, all we have to do is just double click on the track nameplate. And that brings up the name track dialog. We can give this track a name. And then go on to the next track by hitting the next button in the same dialog window. Another thing that you can do with the new tracks dialog is you can create multiple types of tracks all at once. This plus button right here gives you another lane. And in this lane you can actually tell it a different type of track and how many of that, just like the original. So in this case, let's say I wanted to create the one audio track, plus I also wanted to create an instrument track in stereo. And then I also wanted to add another lane to add a master fader in stereo. I can do that all simply by clicking this plus button and it adds more and more lanes. Conversely, you can also take away lanes by hitting the minus button. This saves a lot of time in creating tracks, especially when you're working with different types of tracks such as audio, MIDI, instrument, video, and master faders. 